Keep him down. Keep him down, buddy. There you go. Keep him down. Keep him down. There you go. You're fighting him good. Okay. You're fighting him good. You're fighting him good. You got him. You got him. You got him. You got him. Good job. <laughs> All right. Big guy. Yes. What are you going to do tonight for the first time, Creighton? Fish my first tournament ever. I'm super excited. Thank you to Jason for letting me come with him. Cool. So uh, we're going to have hopefully have a good time tonight, catch yep. a few fish. Get on some big fish. Yep. We're going to put the boat in real quick and go up there and start taking the money. Yep. See you in a minute. Thing unbuckled. Now right, we got some more boats showing up here. So what's your name? Kurt. Kurt. Where are you from, Kurt? Uh Jonesburg, Warrington. Jonesburg, alright. He's here to fish the Thursday night tournament. Here on Mark Twain, we got 15 boats right now. All right, we got uh, 20 boats right now. Creighton, what do you think about that, buddy, for a Thursday nighter? It's a good turnout. Well, we got 20 boats for a Thursday nighter right now. It's uh, 5.15, gonna wait another five minutes and then head down to the ramp, get everybody started. Weigh in at 8.30 and uh, we'll see what happens. So hopefully we bring you some action. Well, they probably won't be here tonight. I don't have a net, so. Just relax, he's a keeper. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get him in there. That's a good fish, I got him green. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Get the monkey off my back now. Yeah, buddy. You want me to open yeah. Let's go, nice fish, Creighton. Yeah, it's a Boom. really nice one. Yeah. Oh, Senko. He was out a little bit too. Yeah, you was right too. He just popped it. Yeah, you said we're gonna hook onto a big one anytime now. Just need another one. There's another one, Clay. There's another one, right there. Is he as big? No. <laughs> that was fun. He wasn't a keeper. Yeah, try it and then just pop it off the bottom or something. 
They're gonna move up here and feed, I think. Just don't, just watch, you'll get, there's another one. There's another one, Creighton. Is he good? Yeah, he's, he, he might keep. Yeah, he'll keep, he'll be 15. I don't know, he might be 14. He's long. What? I said he's long. You wanna check him? Oh yeah, we're gonna check him. Barely hooked too. I don't think he's gonna make it. Yeah, he's not making it. He's long. Uh, hang on. What? He's 15 right there. Yep. Uh, number two. Number two. That's your bio, right? Thank you. There you go, Bubba. Tell you what, we can get three and then we can go look for some big ones. Be fun. Yeah, there. Further out. Set the hook on that last one like an idiot. But we found him yesterday, didn't we, Creighton? Put this to the juice. There's another one. Get the, get, this is a good one, Creighton. This is a good one. What? This is a good one. This is a good one. It's number three, buddy. All right. Put him up here. There we go. Number three, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You think he yeah. He he's okay, but Joe. Boom. He's a keeper. He's like. Yep, 15. I think we should start filling the other one up if we get another one. It's already open. It's already filled up. Okay, now we, we gotta start culling now. Culling, which is uh, after we got our three fish, yeah. now we can upgrade. Yeah. So if we uh, catch a four pounder, then we can throw our smallest one out. Yeah, yeah that's called culling. Should I switch to a Cinco? Yeah. All right, Creighton's gonna put his chatterbait down. He's gonna go with a big worm. I'm going with a Cinco. We're gonna double whammy him, hopefully. We got three. It is 6.15. And uh, we got a couple hours to upgrade, Creighton. We need to get us about a, another three pounder or, or maybe a four or five pounder, obviously. There's another one right there, Creighton. He ain't very, oh, nope, he ain't very big. He ain't gonna cut the mustard. Catch and release I like right there. Now they'll, You'll feel a tap, tap, tap. I mean, I mean, you've caught fish with a worm before, haven't you? Yeah. You'll feel that tap, tap, tap. Yep. Yep. Just. Oh, 
Oh, he ain't very big, I don't think. There goes my Senko. He ain't gonna cut it, but they're fun. Right there. That's bass number what? I don't know. Five or six of the day? Yeah. <laughs> Better get my bag of Senkos out and keep them out. I got a 50 pack. All right, this is our third stop of the day. And we're after a big fish. We're after like a three to five pounder. We got one in there about three, another one about two, two and a half, maybe one about a pound and a half. But hey, we got three, now we just gotta upgrade. We're just gonna see if they're stacked up on this point. There's one right there. Good. Yeah, he good, he good. He, he'll call, he'll call one. He'll call one. Yeah, I will, because we don't have a net. We don't have a net. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Geez. Might be our other three pounder I just wanted. Creighton? All right. Now. Teach me how to do this. <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. I need to get this handle fixed. Okay, now. Hold on, hold on. I know, I'm just blocking myself. Okay. Hold that one. Got him? Yeah, I got him. Don't, just hold him right there. Yeah, I'm going to. Smallest one, so we're going to put him back in the water and we're going to try to upgrade again. Okay, there we go. Well, now, if that would have been Saturday, a regular five fish tournament, that would have been number four. You just want me to cast right on this point? Yep, let me get turned back around. Nice. I don't know, he might be. Yep, nope, little one. Fish, I don't even know how many fish that is today. That's a little one. That's like eight or nine. Well, we've caught four keepers because we cold them once you know we came here got our got our coal like we wanted to probably a nice three pounder and now we're just going to go look around celebratory three fish limit pringles mmm right there no I'm good Having a good time, aren't we, Creighton? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your PB bass? 7.39. Making Lake. I think 2010. Got one? You got one. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Keep, keep him down. Keep him down. Keep him down, buddy. Here you go. Keep him down. Keep him down. There you go. You're fighting him good. Okay. You're fighting him good. You're fighting him good. You got him. You got him. You got him. You got him. Good job. <laughs> All right, big guy. Yes. Let's go. That might call one out, buddy. Hopefully. Look at that, Creighton. Yeah. All on video, buddy. Let's see. Uh, Let's see Use my handle here. Okay. Oh. Bit that pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, he's like. Okay. 
Creighton, I think we got an upgrade. I think we got an upgrade, buddy. They kind of look the same to me. Tell you what. Do you want me to hold one? No. This one's fatter. Yours is fatter. Okay, yours is fatter and yours is longer. So we're gonna keep yours, okay? Okay. There we go. This is yours. Yeah. And we're gonna throw this one out. Okay. He's you wanna toss him out? So, sure. Since you caught the one that we're gonna... What side? Cool. Either side, just throw him out. Ready? There you go. Okay. Boom, there he goes. Good job, buddy. Thanks, I need a new simple. Creighton with the rescue, he just upgraded us about a half a pound. So that's good. So Creighton, so how do you hit that Senko? I draw, I threw it right next to the bank and then I just let it hit the ground and then as soon as I bought it up, he just- He thumped it, good deal. As soon as I brought it up. That was a good job keeping him down. He came up once, you kept him down. That's the key to this fish on a big worm or a crankbait on anything is keep him down. Cause yeah. when they can jump up out of the water is when they can come off. Good job. Yeah, I lost a couple when <laughs> Way to go. That's uh, five keepers. Yeah. That was our fifth keeper of the day. If we, if this was a five fish tournament, we'd have five keepers. You wanna put this on for me again? Yep. All right, we are going to head to our last spot of the evening. It's uh, 7.35. Creighton did a great job on upgrading well, that was our fifth keeper of the day. So that's always a good thing on Mark Twain to get five. Yeah, and so, they're not even that bad of fish either. No, they're nice fish. We got two three pounders probably and uh, a two and a half. Your years is probably two and a half. Yeah. So we get, that'd be like eight and a half pounds. Yeah. That's eight and a half pounds. And ballpark, we could be give or take a half pound, but I think that fish you caught Creighton was, was, a, uh, was about a half pound upgrade, so. Anyway, we're going to hit one more spot and then uh, we're going to get ready to go weigh him in because I'm in charge of the weigh in and everything and I got to get in a little early. All right, that's going to wrap Creighton and I's tournament up tonight. I think we got eight, eight and a half pounds, three fish, something like that. Not bad. Creighton's first tournament. Yeah. He had a good time, I hope. I had a great time. And now. Buddy, we gotta go to weigh in and let's weigh him and see how we did. Yeah. All right, let's go. I don't think we did terribly bad. No, not at all. Eight, nine. Okay, we had a tie for third at eight, nine, Johnny and him, but they had three and you had two. So we're gonna, is that okay with everybody? Is that it? Scales closed? All right, let's divvy them up here. They tied at eight, nine, right? Yeah. And then this one is... Okay, so... Adam, yeah. <laughs> Six. Big bass is uh, six eight. Steve and Wesley Cook. That's ninety five for big bass. Twenty twenty boats. Nineteen paid for big bass. One bit. Good thing you paid for it. And they got first place. And you got first place worth one hundred and sixty bucks with eleven three. That's you as well. Thank you. And then uh, second place is Creighton and I with 9.3. We're getting 120. 80, 120. Third place is Chris Janda, Tom Wilgus. Third place, 60 bucks. Money, money, money. Rich. Anglers of the year. <laughs> Fourth place, Johnny Rucker, 8 9. 
Rucker. Rucker, 40 bucks. You want your money? Yeah, hold up. <laughs> and then uh, we'll pay the uh, fifth place Keith Hendricks, Greg Zumwalt, 20 bucks. Get your money back. Hendricks, you get your money back. What? I'm going that way. You get your money back. I'll take it back. Hendrix. Hendrix, is that money coming? Greg's, Greg's up there. Okay. Oh, there he is right over here. There's Greg. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. There we go. Next week, stop there. Uh, hang on to that till next week. Yeah, you get, you'll, you'll be up Five. Five? Okay. Yeah. What the heck? Does everybody want to fish next week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Free fish. <laughs> Free fish. That's right. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that video. Uh, Creighton had a heck of a good time. And uh, I had a good time having him in the boat, trying to, you know, trying to teach him the uh, tournament aspect of bass fishing. Uh, it's a little different than just going out and fishing. But we had a good time. He caught on quick. Get that youth out uh, fishing, hunting in the outdoors. It's going to be a whole lot better off for him. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, kind of got the monkey off my back as far as uh, catching some fish here at Mark Twain. I've, I've zeroed the last couple tournaments, so uh, I know that was a Thursday night tournament, but it felt good to get some keepers in the boat. And we got two tournaments this weekend and uh, on Saturday, Sunday. So hopefully I can repeat that and uh, at least, you know, weigh in some fish both days. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching Strike 3 Fishing. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.